you know, you come into a game on the weekend, um, you know, you, you lose a apply to a red card. How hard is it to then come in and, and hope to defend that lead? It's obviously it's obviously hard. You're you're a man down, so you've got less numbers, and you have to do more as a as a player and as a team to help compensate for having a less player. But it's one of those things you you kind of you just have to get on with it and and do as as well as you can. Um, we obviously chucked an extra defender on to try and show up at the back and change formation. But yeah, obviously it's going to be hard, but that's something we just have to deal with and try to do our best with what we have at the time. Yeah, and um, are you ready to step in if um, yeah, you're called upon on Friday? Yes. Um, if the boss put, puts me in, then I'll put my best foot forward and do as well as I can and yeah, hopefully get the result up against Melbourne Victory. Yeah, because you got quite a few opportunities last season. Um, how has it been frustrating trying to bide your time with you know, a, few, a few more centre-backs that have been fit this season? Um, it's, it's, been, it's been different to last season. I think um, you have to approach it in a slightly different way. Like with, If it, the other centre-backs are fit, then you have to think more about how how can I push them to be to be to play better, but also how can I improve myself and get better and, and push them for that starting role? Obviously, things are harder when you're not playing because um, everyone everyone wants to play. But at the end of the day, we've only got two centre backs that will play each week, so it's just it's a new challenge, obviously, and like you say, different from last season. But you just got to take it in your stride and, and do as like I said, do as well as you can with what with what you got. How do you um, get yourself ready, Finn? Because, like, you know, as Phil said last season, you had a, r a run of games. Uh, now you're kind of coming in. This will probably be, we well, hoping your first start. So, do you, how have you kept your match fit over that time? I hope so. Um, we've been. I played with the Rizzies a, a few games and been doing uh, the last the last few weeks. I've got gotten some minutes and coming on in the last ten or twenty minutes. And then last week helps as well with the red card. I got about 30, 40 minutes. Um, so that all helps with match fitness and then obviously your training sessions and stuff like that, you can go pretty hard and, and um, top up the running, all that sort of stuff to try and keep fit. And when you came on last week, obviously it's a bit of a rear guard action, you know, you're down to 10, you're there to shore things up. How different will your preparation be against victory when you, you know, you're out there with 11 from the start and you want to go out there and get the three points? Um, I, to be honest, I don't think it'll be too different um, other than the fact that hopefully I'll, I'll know that I'll be playing or even if I'm even if I'm on the bench or not playing, you still have to prepare like you, you're going to play because you never know when something can happen. You know when when Scotty pulled up um, before the Brisbane game, that was only a, only a day before, so I had to be ready to go and then ready to actually come on when 24 hours before that I wasn't thinking I'd be be travelling to Brisbane. So. You have to always be prepared, and that's the, that's the only thing you can do, to be honest. Is that is that a, a challenge, though? Because as you say, you know, you've got there's, there's some good centre backs at the club, you included, but um, you know, you've had to bide your time. Is it is it difficult to prepare as if you're going to play when, you know, earlier in the season there's 95 percent chance you probably won't be? Yeah, it's it's I mean it's, it's difficult, and it sometimes can be a little bit frustrating if you're not playing. But you have to understand that you. you there's a high chance that you'll get an, an opportunity or a couple opportunities, and you just have to be ready to take them. So you have to be you have to be switched on the whole time and, and be ready for when that chance comes. And it could come alongside Josh Laws, Tim Payne, Scott Wooden, or somebody else. So do <laughs> you make sure that your connections with all of those guys are, are nice and tight? Yeah, I think everything like this whole team is pretty close together. We're, we're pretty tight, and I don't think it, it matters too much who is going to play together. I think. Everyone, everyone understands each other quite well, and we we always have to do the same thing on the pitch anyway. So, as long as we all know our roles and we we trust each other, then things go pretty smoothly. What sort of messages is Zuffi giving to you um, when you have to step in in those sort of moments? Um, it's it's kind of just do what do what you know you can do. Like um, if I played a bit last season, he he, he hopefully trusts me to to. Take the take the role and, and play and, and be myself and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, he's kind of just putting trust in you to and he knows that you can do it. So why why, why can't you do it? That, that kind of message. And I guess you've got a few more experienced players ahead of you. But if, what's the learning experience been like? What have what have they sort of been teaching? What are sort of things messages that have been coming through to you? The, to be honest, the whole, the whole group of guys, not just the centre backs, but the whole team. Like we do have some experienced boys in there and and. All of them are very good at giving you pointers when you need it. When either when they see fit to to give you something to to think about or to learn, um, but they're also very good when you go and ask them a question. Um, 
they'll explain things and, and put, put their arm around you basically um, and, and help you out. There's a, there's a wealth of experience there and it, it helps a lot for the young boys. Cool. And do you think um, yeah, being away from home will help you with the stretch of, of away games that you know, from previous seasons? From being away last season? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah like Bawley said, I think, I think it will. It's, it's not too big a deal for us to, to go away now. Um, we know what it's like to play away and we've, we've played a lot of away games. Basically last year was every, every game was an away game pretty much. Um, so yeah, it, it, there's not really any downside or excuse to it. We just kind of get on with it and, and play these away games and do what we can do.